Alright guys, and welcome back to Night City. Let's get into it. Hey howdy Night City, welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi the Oh, look at this. Hey. You all right? Never been better. Sure don't look it. Ah. Straight up look scared. <laughs> Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. Speaking. Uh -huh. You're wasting your life here. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. We curled up your ass. Okay. I want it today. Great. This. You could still change your mind. See you in the next life, friend. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. I'm gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. You're bad, damn, that turns me on. Love it when you're mad. Gets my southern blood pumping. Get in, before I change my mind. Silverhand! Hey, Shaden! Get us in the air! Here, put this on, and it stays on! Got it?
rats. <laughs> Alright, anybody else? Bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a delta! The Demolitra. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! There, Run John. for it! Surviving. Switch this 
subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Marv. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take and a look. Turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. All right, let's dip. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. See ya. Whoa! Try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Give your buddy a chance to speak. Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> I know that old man. Hey, Gramps. I know you. Let's see. Joseph Thomas Joseph. died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yona Koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness you wreak. とは嘘つき自分自身を欺く。だが、シャワチが。シャワ有弁だが、彼らは決して嘘をつかない。死者の言葉には慎ましさがある。始めろ。Ah, what 
что-то. You know, this would be like so disorienting, not knowing what's solid and which like you're gonna fall through. Just kind of guessing. And you, who are you? Man, this don't look good. Ugh, heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. Crap. Arasaka-sama, Otoo-sama no sasugai hao mitzukimashita. Kono otoko de machigai yarimasen. Hai. Ichi jikan go ni atsuku ka. Smell like daisies either, dude. Let's see how you'd feel waking up in a landfill. You hear me? I need your help. I'm 
like just like blasting at nothing. Attention. Do you know a Reaper Doc whom you can trust? I remember you. You. You were at Kumpeki Plaza. We must get to Reaper Doc. Quickly. Did pretty well back there. Did well back there. Do not waste time. Victor can help. Victor. Well, fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. Dylan. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Isodzerica. Run a VIX. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed. As he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Precious tanking! It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. Is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day.
V, you in there? Ah, my head. How you feeling? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. But I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. You mean to say there's a terrorist in my head? Hang on. You mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head? Right now? That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Doubt you can top the terrorist in my brain. Me. Think you can top the terrorist in my brain? <laughs> Biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. You're gonna fix me up, right? You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Why do I have to... <laughs> I want to know the deets. All of them. Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay, there was, is, a construct, a psyche on the chip, out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. So I'm Frankenstein? Great. You're Dr. Victor and I'm your monster. Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? Well, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. So what am I supposed to do? Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... 
But what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. I'm exhausted. I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? About Jackie. Misty, wait. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you lots. He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. I'm not about to try to like hit on <laughs> on my boy's girl like after he died. <laughs> Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Smoke. Don't smoke. Then go out and get. Oh, what the hell? Who you work for? Start talking. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Oh. I'll 
Take control. I'll find a way. You hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, the horror part of this conversation. Bye, dickface. See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like I'm mold like on fruit, fruit creeping, creeping into you. you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Get out of my head. Leave me alone. Get out. Just get the fuck out. Led to the head. Only thing that will fix this. Hear me, asshole? A bullet to the fucking brain. Fuck me. Dear Mr. V, I would like to inform you that Mr. Wells' body has been delivered to Victor Vector's clinic in accordance with your instructions. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you next time. Peace.